Hey guys, Halo Hacker here. Uh, this is part three of our Unity 3D uh, journey. And before I get started, I'd just like to um, thank my subscribers. Um, they've basically, they're the legs I'm standing on at this point as far as videos go. Um, sometime last month, I believe I was at like 26 subscribers and um, started posting Unity videos. And I'm now at 71 at the time of this video. Um, so thanks a lot for that. Uh, if once I get to 100 subscribers, I'm gonna do something special. Not sure what that's gonna be, but something interesting. Um, but until then, uh, this is part three. Uh, today, I'm gonna be going off of a request I got from someone in my comments, um, who have wanted to know a little bit about a little bit about um, like you know combat and fighting in Unity 3D. And um, this is something I've tried to do with limited success um, in the past uh, but now that I'm a lot better at coding thanks to the people at forum uh, the unity 3d forums uh, I've managed to make it work so far so um, basically before you start any script really what you have to do is you have to think about what you're trying to accomplish so if we click play here um, you know we have to think okay that's interesting but that doesn't really make any sense um, so what do we want to happen here um, we want to let's say let's say we want to have like a melee weapon so we want to get close to him and then click and attack and attack him until he disappears from our scene and we move on so to do this um, first thing we're gonna do is go down to create JavaScript and let's just name it um, cube AI and open that right up okay and first off let's think um, we're gonna need a variable for health so let's go var health um, and that's gonna equal 10 for right now so basically this is just where what number our health is gonna be for our enemy and um, for right now we're just gonna leave it like that now we have to think, um, our cube here has a trigger on it, um, which basically means that when we walk into that trigger, we respawn. So before we start, really, we want to get rid of that feature. And so just right click remove component and um, go back. So we have this nice trigger here. Um, so we may as well put that to use. So we go back here, we can go function on trigger enter other collider uh, I spelled something wrong there and um, if other dot tag player whoops that's not right I believe that's right yeah okay then what do we want to happen we want to have, um, we want to make it so that uh, it's true that you can do damage. So we're gonna go up here and we're gonna go uh, var um, take damage, which is a boolean, which is false. And basically, what this means is, um, if you don't know already, a boolean is like a yes or no. It's like a switch, and you can either turn it on or off. It can either be true or false. So this allows for a lot of cool stuff because you can say um, if this is true then you do all the stuff and you can just you know really go pretty far from there so we're gonna go um, take damage equals true and we're gonna close that off save it and check for errors of course um, don't see any so we're gonna drag our cube AI to our cube check our first person controller and make sure it's tagged player and click play and you should notice when we walk into our cube and we switch over to our cube um, it doesn't do anything okay well there's always you know that little problem that comes up um, we're gonna get rid of this I believe I don't know why I added that to be honest Okay, and now let's try that again. 
and note the, the right corner, not the right corner, just the right hand side of the screen. It should check. Come on. Oh, come on. Ah, okay. We're doing something wrong here. Uh, player, cube. It's a trigger. What's wrong? Ah, should be capital, and that should be it. Ugh, silly capitals. Okay, let's go back. Come on, this should work now. Yep. Okay, see what a difference the uh, character shift can make. Okay, so now it says take damage, but you'll notice when we walk out, it still says take damage, and you'll also notice that we have to be literally inside our cube for it to say take damage. So first off, we're going to fix the um, first problem. So we're going to go back to our script and we're going to go um, uh, function on trigger exit. It basically means when we leave the trigger, trigger other collider um, if uh, other dot tag is player come on okay then um, take damage equals false save that off and oops and you'll also I'm um, just letting you know these are pretty basic ways of accomplishing things there's a lot more dynamic uh, better ways to do this but this is just you know basic um, so now what should happen is when we walk in take damage when you walk out take damage goes away so now um, that's working but we also need to solve the problem of having to walk into our cube so we're going to go to our cube and see where it says size here under box collider this green thing you see here is our collider which is our trigger so if we just make this for example 3 by 3 then we should have a nice little um, area might even want to go so far as to make that 4 by 4 and so basically what will happen is when we walk into this then take damage is true so let's try that um, take damage true um, and looks like it's working pretty well but now I have to think what do we want to happen when take damage is true so um, we're gonna go function uh, I always like to make it up here okay function update and this is like probably my, my fourth take of this tutorial. Um, I ran into problems because I didn't add function update. So this is an easy way um, to make sure everything works. Um, if take damage, which basically means if take damage is true, then and if um, input dot get button down fire one wrong key then um, health minus minus okay basically what this is saying is um, if take damage is true at any time and if you click far one which is your left click and um, it'll uh, take away one from health which is our number. So um, save that and check for errors, of course. And we have them, of course. Um, we need another parentheses here because there's one here, so there should be one all the way at the end. Save that. Should be good. Yep. Okay, now let's try this. Um, okay, we're going to walk in. Pay attention to the side. When we click, our health number goes down. And we can make it go all the way into the negatives into infinity. And so, um, actually, let's just check and make sure that that's, that only happens when we're inside the trigger. Take damage. As soon as we get far away, we can't take damage. Uh, we can't give damage out. And then as soon as we get close, we can. So let's go back to our thing. And um, well, if you think about it, this doesn't work very well at this point because it just goes into negative health and that's not possible so we're actually going to go to um, if health is less than 
uh, one. I don't know why there has to be a minus there, but there just does. Someone can explain it to me, that'd be nice. Um, then you're just gonna go print um, enemy down. Just so that we know um, it worked. Actually, we don't need that there, which means we need that there. And um, we're gonna have health equals zero. You'll see why in a bit. And we're gonna have destroy uh, game object. Okay, so basically what this means is if our health is less than one, which means it's zero, then um, we're gonna print to the console, which is like the error console, enemy down. Um, actually, I have space there. We're gonna make our health zero, which means you can't spam uh, the click button and actually make it go negative. Uh, there's no real reason for that, it just bothers me. And then we're gonna destroy the game object. So, the game object being our cube, everything should work just fine here. Um, 10 minutes, okay. Um, we go to our trigger, we click, our health goes down, and nothing happens. Why? I do this every single darn time. It should be in function update. Now, here's a quick lesson uh, explaining my mistake. Basically, it's not in function update. Update happens every time that the game updates. So this is like happening all the time. This only happens like when it's instantiated, which means it doesn't happen like when, like whenever. It only happens when it's called on. So we're gonna take that and we're gonna put it inside here. And um, let's see, let's get these things all right. Okay, and save it. And now it should work. Okay, we're take damage checked. Click until hit zero. It deletes itself and it says enemy down. So um, that's very basic, but you know it works. So um, yeah, that's that's it for this part. Um, come back to part two and we'll finish it up, make it look nice, add a weapon maybe, and some other stuff. But if you have any questions, ask in the comments. Uh, if you want to see the rest of it then subscribe. Um, if you would like to see part two or part one, then click the annotations somewhere on the screen and um, I hope you enjoyed. So um, basically, uh, you know, this, this works. Uh, it's not very advanced, but it works. So, you know, uh, enjoy it for right now and I'll see you later.